hi everybody welcome back to our channel i'm so excited to be able to drop in and let all of you know how much i appreciate all of you and how much we love you so very much thank you for what you do daily here on our channel we are so grateful for all of your support for all of your acts of kindness just for being a part of our life and we're so grateful that we can be a part of your life. We're grateful for giving us the opportunity to pray for you and to intercede before the Lord for all of you and your families and your children and your children's children, your businesses, your marriages, your relationships, your finances, your wealth, your health. We're grateful and honored to God that you trust the God in us enough to labor before the Lord for you. You're going to recover from this. This is good news that you have today. You're going to recover from this. Building, 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 building is what you are embarking on. Building. Doors are going to swing wide open for you. God is going to open the windows of heaven for you. And God is going to pour you out a blessing. I mean a big blessing. That you're not going to have room enough to receive. You're going to recover all. You are going to recover all. I mean everything. That the canker worm and the palmer worm and the locust has eaten. And trying to destroy. Whatever that seed eater. That devourer has done his best to destroy. I want to let you know that you're going to recover all. That's right. All. God is not going to leave one stone unturned where your life is concerned. He's not. He's going to recompense you for all that you've lost. Isn't that good news to your ears? To know that everything, you know what everything is. You think about everything that you think you've lost. You think about everything that the devil has taken from you. That he told you that you wouldn't get back. You think about that everything. And I want you to remember what the word of the Lord tells you. He said he's going to recover all for you. And he told you everything that the canker worm. He said everything that the palmer worm. God tells us everything that the locust has eaten. He said he's going to restore that. Isn't that a blessing to your ears to know? That what the devil came in to eat and devour, whatever that seed eater came into your life, to eat up. God said, I am going to recover all for you. All is not lost. Before you gain your biggest blessing, the devil is going to tempt you in the area of your reputation. And the devil is going to tempt you in the area. He's going to bring a lot of spiritual warfare with your finances. You remember this. Before you receive a great breakthrough in your life, and it doesn't matter the area that you are trusting and believing God for, before the break of dawn, before the day comes in your life, before the sun sets and shines in your life, before that answered prayer, the devil is going to test you in two main areas of your life. He's going to test you. And he's going to do everything that he can to sabotage these two areas as well. And these two areas are your reputation and your name and your finances. He's coming for both. So pass your test. How do you pass your test whenever you're targeted? In the areas of your reputation when somebody's trying to do all they can to destroy your reputation and your finances? Let the devil know who's boss. You rebuke the devil in the name of the Lord because it's in the Lord's name that he's going to flee. There is no other name under heaven, my goodness, or earth, in the earth. When the devil hears the name of the Lord, he trembles. So in the name of the Lord, Yeshua, the devil has to flee. You don't ask nicely. You command him to go in the name of the Lord. You command him to let you go. You command him to set you free in the name of the Lord. You command the enemy to take his hands off of whatever he's put his hands on 
If the devil has his hands on your home and your money, your finances, your children, if the devil has his hands on your finances, your health, your peace, whatever he has his filthy hands on, you command him in the name of the Lord to take his hands off of your stuff because it doesn't belong to him and he doesn't have a right to hold what God has already given you. You know, you can't give the devil an opportunity to keep holding your stuff. Whenever you know the devil has taken something that belongs to you, you stand in the power that God gave you. I mean, you stand tough and you stand strong and you stand firm and you open up your mouth and you command him to let you go. You command him in the name of the Lord to set you free. You command them, family of God. All will not be lost. All that you've gone through with is not in vain. It's for a purpose. Why you're going through everything that you're going through with. God is going to recover all for you. God is going to open doors that people shut in your face. God is going to do that. I want you to stay encouraged. I want you to always be encouraged. I want you to know the God that you serve. I want you to know who you have on your side. I want you to know the power that God has. I want you to know that you have been gifted that same power on the inside of you. You don't have to wait till your circumstances change. You don't have to sit around and wait on life to change. No, you open your mouth and you command your situations to change. You command your morning. You command your day. You command your life to change. You speak things over your life that you want to see. Don't edify and talk about the things in this life that you don't want to see, family of God. And whatever is going on in your life, whatever is happening right now that you don't want to happen anymore, take charge of your life by speaking life over the dead situation and it's going to live. Your words have power in it. Your words have life. So speak life over your situation. Speak life over your problem it works it works so work it don't be afraid to work it you know sometimes we think we god is waiting on us but sometimes if the truth be told god is waiting on us to walk out our faith god is waiting on us to use the tools he's already given us you know, God is going to do the things that we can't do on our own. The battles that are too heavy for us, God is going to fight those battles. The things that you can do right now, do them. Don't worry about what you don't have and what you can't get. Worry about nothing and just begin to act. It is time for you to act. It is time for you to put one foot in front of the other one and go forth in your tomorrow. It's time for you to go forth in your destiny. It's time. It is time for you to do that. I love y'all so much. I'm telling you, God has blessed us to go through Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. And I want you to just monitor and be observant of all the breakthroughs and the blessings and the miracles that God is going to bestow upon your life. And remember this family of God, never speak a negative word over a prophetic word that God gave you because you're going to eat the fruit of that. Never speak negative over a prophetic voice that God gave you in your life because you're going to eat the harvest of that negative word that you're speaking over a prophetic voice that God has bestowed upon your life. You're not here by accident. Just like nothing that you've gone through with was by accident. God allowed everything that you go through with in your life. He allowed it. And maybe you don't understand it now, but by and by, as the days go by, God is going to show you why you had to go through so much in your lifetime. God is going to show you why you had to be set aside. God is going to show you why you were the one that were home praying and building while other people were out and about not doing productive things. God is going to let you know, family, that it's worth waiting for. 
and you're not going to lose anything. You can only gain when it comes to God. You can gain just like Job. He went through a major test because God had that much confidence in what he put on the inside of Job. God knew Job's heart. God knew that Job, Job loved him. And God knew that Job didn't serve him for the material gains and possessions that he had. God knows you love him. It's just a test, family of God. You know, sometimes the God can seek the devil on you. God allow the devil to come and hit us because the devil has inquired some of you. He has. Did you all know that? Just like Job, God asked the devil. He asked him, have you considered my servant Job? Put your name there because sometimes God would do that. And he has that much confidence in your family. We're going to talk later if, it, if it's God's will. Thank all of you once more for all of your support. We pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. We pray that God will continue to bless you. We pray that God will always cause his face just to shine upon you and bless everything that you touch and bless every single thing that you do because God is going to do that. Stay hooked up to God. Stay connected to God. Get into your Bible. Read and study family of God and pray that the Holy Spirit will give you revelation because the word of God is revelation the word of God has to be revealed to us and how is the word of God revealed by the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of us this is why a carnal mind and the most highly intellectual individual the most highly intellectual mind cannot comprehend the things of God because the spirit of God because the word of God is spirit and the word of God is life. This is why God tells us that we must worship him in spirit and we must worship him in truth. I'm excited for your future. I'm excited for what God is doing in you and through you and for you. Keep yourself focused on where you're going. Keep yourself focused on your own dreams, on your own vision and your own goals. Keep heart, keep your heart and the mode of forgiveness. Forgive everybody. Whether you think they deserve it or not. It's not if they deserve it. You don't deserve to go through the rest of your life. Carrying the weight and the burden and the guilt. Of what someone done to you family of God. There's no condemnation for those of us. Who are in Christ Jesus. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share all of our videos. Keep liking them family of God. Thank you for subscribing. To all of my returning subscribers, thank you to the new subscribers. We love you so much. If you want to grow and become the greatest person that God told you that you're going to become, you stay hooked up to this channel. We're not here to entertain you. We are here to love you. We are here to give you encouragement. We are here to encourage you to get into the Bible, to draw closer to God while the blood is running warm in your veins because God tells us his spirit will not always strive with us. And how do you know if the Spirit of the Lord is striving with you? Because you can hear in your spirit conviction and you can obey that conviction. If you can no longer hear that conviction, it's a high possibility that the Spirit of God is no longer in there. People of God, we'll talk later. If it's God's willing, bye-bye.